Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can do the complete passcode bypass, include your SIM will work, your FaceTime will work, your iMessages, Siri, notification, iCloud login, everything will work in the free of cost. So no need to pay anything to anyone. This is the completely free and safe method for various iPhones, iPad or iPod Touch that support the checkering jailbreak. I will show you the complete step like how you can do that on your Windows machine. First let me clear some point. This method is only for the pre-activated devices not for the already iCloud bypass device. This device is currently on the disabled or a parts code stage and having the signals on the top that means it's a activated device if you insert the sim it will show the sim card name and the signal so it's a already activated device and also in this case i don't know the passcode of this device and also the find my phone is on and if i flash or restore this device it will come on the activation lock screen and then the only option available is to do the bypass with the sim working with some paid tools that cost you some money but in this video i will show you the completely free method to do the full passcode bypass that include everything will work like sim i messages so all services will work with free of course so for this video i will mainly focus on ios 12 devices currently i have a iphone 6 and iphone 5s that is running on the latest 12.5.5 so i will show you how you can do the complete bypass on these devices so let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right for this process you will require some tools and other files so i will give all these files links in the description blog link so you can easily download it from there. You will require the Bellinator, Checkrun RG patch version, Transmac and Brain USB file for your Intel and the AMD. So that is the modified file and all these files are available on the Google also. It's completely free so you can download it from the official website and other required links are in description. So you will get their blog link. So you have to just go there and download these files for free. So I've already downloaded these files. First you need to open the Bellinature software. Now next you need a empty USB. You can use the 1GB minimum USB. After that just go to the file and select the RAIN USB file. There are two files one is for AMD processor other for Intel so you can select according to your PC and after that click on flash and it will make the USB bootable. Now once the flash done just close the Bellinature tool. Now you need to modify some files in the RAIN USB. So for that you will require the Transmac software. You can download it for free. After that you will also require the Checkrin RG patch version. So first you need to extract the Checkrin RG patch version. After that open it and you will get the Checkrin file. Now next you need to open the Transmac software. You need to run it as administrator to get the complete read write access to the file. So just right click on it and run as administrator. After that from the left side you will see your pen drive name. So just click on that and then you will get the rain USB folder. So just open it. After that you will see so many folders on the right side. You have to open the first folder that is the application folder. Next you need to go to the first folder that is the 0.10.0 app. Just open it and go to the content folder and you will get the checkrin app. So just right click on it and delete this file. Now you need to paste the new checkrin file that is the checkrin RG version in the rain USB file. So just drag and drop here and copy the file. Now you will see we have copied successfully the new checkrin file. So let me just verify again. You have to go to the rain USB application 0.10. After that in the content folder you have to copy the new checkrin RG file. Now just reboot the PC. Now you need to go to the BIOS settings or a boot manager settings and then boot your pen drive from it. After that you will see the rain usb clover settings. Now here you will see so many other drives related to your windows partition and the first option is to boot your pen drive from the rain usb directly. So this rain usb method doesn't support all the system but if your system is supported by the rain usb live method so you can run it easily or if your system support other things you can go to the settings and configure according to your pc model. So it will be helpful if you configure it and then you can run it as in some system it's stuck on the booting or shows some the booting process errors. So you can configure it and then you can run it. You can take help from the Google. There are so many articles on how to run the Hackintosh or Rain USB on your Windows machine. Now once it will load completely you have to just click on continue and after that on the top bar you have to select the utilities option. So just go there and you will find the terminal. 
Now on the terminal you have to type the numeric 10 and after that hit on enter and it will run the check rain RG patch version into the CLI mode. Now after that you can just connect your device into the DFU mode or a recovery mode and easily jailbreak your device with the check rain RG patch version. Now this check rain RG patch version support the iOS 12 to the 12.5.5 and for the iOS 13 and the iOS 14, there are some devices that are supported. So if you can use the Checkrun RG patch version on the older device, it will work. But for the latest iOS version like iOS 14.8, 14.7 and lower, you will require the other USB patcher like Mina USB patcher or you can say HFZ USB patcher. I have already made the video on that patch version so you can jailbreak from that method and then you can continue with this process. But I have a iPhone 6 and the 5S that are running on the iOS 12.5.5 that will easily work with the Checkrun RG patch version and I can jailbreak the disabled and the passcode device but if you are trying to jailbreak the iPhone 6s, iPhone 7, 7 plus or the latest iOS version you can get some errors and the jailbreak will not work so you will require to patch the USB restriction first and then you can continue this method now first I have turned off my device completely now I will put my device into the recovery mode and then into the DFU mode and after that it will detect by the check rain and I can easily jailbreak this process now you can see on the screen I have run the check rain by entering the 10 and hit on enter and it will ask me to put my device into the DFU mode. So just follow the instruction on the screen and you can easily jailbreak your device. Now we are done with the jailbreak part and you can see all done on the check rain screen. Now we need to go to our windows machine again to do the passcode bypass. So restart your Hackintosh or Rain USB. After that go to the windows machine again. Now for the tool we will use to the passcode bypass that is completely free. That is the FRP latest version that is the 2.8.2. This tool link will also be available in the description blog link. You can easily download it from there. So the password of the file is FRP file. Now open the folder and you will get the exe file so just run it and make sure that you will connect it with the internet while running the tool. After that you will see all your details of your device and the jailbreak status. Now if you are using this tool first time you will first you need to register in the tool that is completely free. I have already registered that's why it's showing registered here but if you are a new user you have to just click on the free registration and after that it will open a website and then you can easily register it. Now just click on the hyperlink. You can copy your serial number from the tool and after that you can simply register it from the website. Now once you have registered it you will see the registration status on the tool. Now you need to activate your device with the activation file so first you need to back up your activation file. Now if you open that folder from the tool, you will get the backup folder, in that you will get all your activation record you have saved. So currently the folder is empty and we have not saved any activation record. So for that first you need to backup the activation file. So this required the jailbreak so I have already jailbreak my device. So just click on that and it will backup your all activation file. So just wait for it to get complete. It will take around 15 to 20 seconds to backup your activation files. Now the backup of the activation file is completed and you can see the success message on the tool. To again verify the backup you have to go to the backup folder and where you will find the zip file of your same serial number. You can check the size of the backup file. Normally it's around 15 to 18 KB so you can verify that. I will tell you again a verify method. You can just open that zip file or you can extract it. After that you will get some folder so you can verify that these folder must be present in your activation record like some are the fair play folder and other is the iTunes controls so you can verify that there are all these files are available in the activation record that means it's valid so you can see some placed file and also there are very important file in the iTunes control that is the IC info SISV file so this file must be present in your device so you can see that all the files are verified now now we can proceed to other part so after that you can just delete your extracted folder because we already need the zip file or you can place the zip file for the future use so you can copy that and save it in somewhere else for your future use. Now after copying the activation file 
you need to erase your device so you can use the second option that is the erase ios 12 to 14 device it will erase completely your device and it will come on the activation lock screen as the find my phone is on but we can pre-activate this device again with the activation record and get the complete access with the sim network iMessages, iCloud, FaceTime, Siri, everything will work. So first we need to erase the device and then we can activate the device again. So it's very simple. You have to first back up the activation record and then next step you have to click on the second option that is the erase device. Now to confirm the erase option just click on yes and then ok and it will start erasing your device. Once it will done you will see the setup screen like hello screen on your device. So you can set up your device again and this time it will come on the activation lock screen as you all know that the find my status is on for this device but don't worry we will activate the device and it will come on the activation lock you need to just reconnect with the wi-fi and stay on that screen or you can be on the setup screen also now after that you can re jailbreak your device with any checkpoint method like checknix or checkpoint windows method you don't have to use the rain usb method again if you want to check rain jailbreak windows method you can use that so i will use the windows method i use a file latest 0.12.4 so i will fast forward this video i have already made the usb bootable as in order to dump the activation file again back to the device we require the jailbreak to access the root file system so we need to re jailbreak your device after the erase Now jailbreak is completed. Now go to your windows machine again and launch the FRP tool. Now to activate the device again you need to add the third option or select that from the last row that is the activate passcode device. First verify the backup that it's still on the backup folder. Now just click on the activate device. Now we need to require to remove the sim card first so just remove the sim card if you have you can put that in the later on so first remove the sim card after that click on ok now press the last option again now this time it will activate your device with the pre-activate backup we have made in the backup folder now it start activating our device with this activation file so stay on the screen do not disconnect your device until it get complete Now the device is completely activated and you can see success message on the screen. Now you can open your device and on the setting there is no Apple ID bound. So I will just insert the sim card and see the sim card is working or not. You can use any sim card, any network it will work for all. So let me just insert the sim card. Now as you can see on the top it will show the searching and after that your carrier name and the signal. Now everything looks fine. You can use your data connection or you can call on any network so everything will work. Now let me just insert another sim card and see everything is work with another sim card or not. So I will insert the another network sim card. Now you can see on the screen it's searching and you can see the carrier update logo is appear. So everything is working with the new sim card also. So let me just call it and see the calling is working or not. Now you can see calling is also working. So you can make calls with the free method with this passcode bypass. So now let's try the other i services like iCloud login and the notification and the FaceTime and iMessages. So first let me just connect with the Wi-Fi. Now just fill your details. You can create your own Apple ID or you can sign into your another account. So now as you can see the Apple ID is also working. And the FaceTime is also working. App Store, Siri, everything will work. Now let's check the unthreaded method so it's completely unthreaded method so your device will not lock again after the restart. So now as you can see this method is completely unthreaded method so let me just try to place a call again and see after the reboot calling is working or not. So now after the reboot also the calling is working fine so everything is working good with this passcode method so you can apply this trick and use your free passcode bypass very easily on your windows machine. So that's all for this video. If you like the content, just hit the like button. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool updates. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.